A very intriguing development is taking place as it seems that Mariners pitching prospect Logan Evans, who's been tearing it up so far in double A at Arkansas, is being moved from the starting rotation to the bullpen to help out the big league club sooner than anyone expected. One of the Mariners' biggest needs as we head into the summer months and the trade deadline is out of the bullpen. Gregory Santos has yet to make his season debut, which it seems is coming soon. Matt Brash and Jackson Kowar both had season-ending surgery, Tommy John surgery. Andres Munoz is dealing with a back issue at the moment, which it seems that he'll avoid an IL stint. The Mariners have already made some moves to reinforce the bullpen as these injuries have occurred. They signed Ryan Stanek to a deal before the season started. They traded for Mike Bauman recently. And now in this new development, Mariners starting pitching prospect Logan Evans is being moved to the bullpen. So first off, who is Logan Evans? Logan was drafted in the 12th round of the 2023 MLB draft out of the University of Pittsburgh. He just turned 23 years old and so far in the minors across two seasons up to this point, starting in rookie ball and majority of his time coming in double A this year. In the minors, he has a 0.937 walks plus hits divided by innings pitched. He has an 8.3 strikeouts per nine innings and a 2.4 walks per nine innings, just a 1.05 ER Ray so far in the minor leagues. His fastball sits in the mid 90s and he was touching 99 miles an hour in spring training. Apparently he throws six pitches, all six pitches he's going to keep out of the bullpen. And although he's ranked as the Mariners 19th overall prospect at the moment via MLB.com, there has been some very high praise of Logan Evans throughout the year and heading into the season from the Mariners front office and especially Jerry Depoto. Which leads us into the Seattle Times article by Adam Jude in which he lays out the plan that Jerry Depoto gave to Logan Evans on his transition to the bullpen. The title states, with help from Matt Brash, Mariners prospect Logan Evans on fast track to Major League Baseball. The article states that last week, Logan Evans was making his normal breakfast in Arkansas one day when he got a voicemail from none other than Jerry Depoto. At first, Logan Evans did not pick up the phone, but he saw the voicemail and he quickly responded. Logan said this call was totally out of the blue and it definitely got his adrenaline going. His adrenaline continued to spike as DePoto laid out his plan for him. He asked him, how would you like to pitch in the big leagues this summer? Logan Evans, of course, responded saying, absolutely. Adam describes that Logan was a 12th round pick out of the University of Pittsburgh last year. And similar to Bryce Miller and Brian Wu, in which they were drafted and rocketed through the Mariners system, they're now staples in the Mariners starting rotation. Similar to those guys, Logan Evans has climbed through the ranks of the Mariners system very quickly. Logan Evans is 6'4", 215, and as I mentioned, he has a six-pitch arsenal, and he's been dominating the AA Texas League for the Arkansas Travelers so far this year. Adam states that the one main difference between the situations surrounding the call-ups of Bryce Miller and Brian Wu last year compared to Logan Evans' situation now is the Mariners don't have the need for him out of the starting rotation like they did with Bryce Miller and Brian Wu. And with Emerson Hancock already there in AAA and stretched out, if there was a potential injury, Emerson Hancock can slot into the starting rotation. Logan Evans, he's being moved to the bullpen for the moment. Adam states that the Mariners, however, could use reinforcements for their banged up bullpen. And DePoto is confident that Evans, because of his pure stuff and his mature approach to pitching, can fill that role perhaps even before the MLB All-Star break. DePoto said that Logan can go out and Bob Gibson the Texas League, or we could see if he could help us here. If you think back to as early as 2016, the Mariners have had some great success with transitioning a couple of their top starting pitching prospects to the bullpen and getting a elite production out of them. Adam states that during the DePoto era, the Mariners have converted the likes of Edwin Diaz in 2016 and Matt Brash in 2022 from starter to reliever with, it, with great success. Adam states that to help Logan with his transition, Evans has already gotten advice from none other than Brash himself. The Mariners pitching coordinator connected Logan Evans and Matt Brash the last week. And Logan Evans said, Matt Brash is a great dude. He was an open book. He really wanted to help me learn from his routines. It was really cool to listen to what he had to say. He was awesome. Jude states that Evans made 10 starts for Arkansas so far this year, going five and two with a 1.23 ERA over 51 in the third innings. He allowed 34 hits, holding hitters to just a 190 batting average with 47 strikeouts and 15 walks. And as I noted earlier, Evans said that he still plans to use all six of his pitches out of the bullpen, and DePoto described all six of them as exceptional. Evans' four seam sits in the mid 90s and touched 99 in spring training. DePoto and Evans are both curious to see if that velocity, along with Evans' other weapons, 
kicks up and shorter bursts out of the bullpen. Logan then went on to say that as a starter, you're just kind of getting that 80%, 85% groove or however you want to describe it. It's almost like artwork, but as a reliever, you get to just go out there and blow it out for an inning or two, so I'm excited. Logan made his first appearance as a reliever on Tuesday, throwing two innings, allowing one earned run on two hits with one walk and one strikeout. He then said that he was happy with how his body responded the next day. Although the Mariners bullpen is in need of some relief, you could say, pun intended, the Seattle Mariners bullpen has pitched the fewest amount of innings compared to any bullpen in baseball so far this year. They've pitched in total 189 and a third innings pitched. That is the lowest in all of baseball, meaning that they've been taxed the least technically. That is in part because the Seattle Mariners rotation has the second most innings pitched so far in baseball with 374 innings pitched as a rotation. The Mariners starting rotation one through five is the best in baseball, hands down. They've been elite so far this year and they have put this team on their back up to this point in the season. The reason why the Mariners are in the spot that they are, are in, first place in the AL West, five games above the Texas Rangers, is because of what this starting rotation has done. Of course, there is a massive need on the offensive side of the ball for the Mariners, but kind of like in football, defense wins championships, elite pitching, starting pitching, bullpen depth, I think that might win championships just as much. And so with the Mariners moving Logan Evans to the bullpen and potentially getting him on the field at T-Mobile Park in Seattle by the All-Star break, this might be one of those moves that allows them to go out and get a big Im impactful bat because instead of taking those resources or the prospects that they would have used to go get more help in the bullpen, they could bring a guy up through their system Take those prospects, whoever they're going to be trading, and go get the bats that they need. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the Mariners moving Logan Evans to the bullpen. And if you haven't seen my player profile on Ryan Bliss, go check it out right here.